Uh, about two o'clock in the morning, we had some pretty heavy winds and uh, stuff blowing around, but nothing major. You can see there's some debris. Nothing major, the RV is fine. Uh, we're gonna go to the beach. We're gonna get the surfboards loaded up and head out to the beach and catch some waves. Uh, the waves are really good after hurricane passes, but typically uh, within you know, several hours, the waves drop to like almost flat and they'll be gone pretty soon. So we're gonna drive to the beach. We'll show you some of the, if there's anything worth noteworthy to see on the way from here to the beach, we'll show you that. And we'll head out and catch some waves and uh, see what Dorian has done. Uh, we're actually inland about 10 miles from the ocean. So typically the winds are higher beach side. So we'll see if there's any damage on our way to catch some waves. Intro video. All right, so we are now beach side. This is the uh, the beach road here, and it's not too bad looking. There's some some uh, debris in the yards, but nothing major. So it looks like we uh, we avoided Hurricane Dorian pretty well. It is windy. <laughs> But the wind's all offshore now. It's good for surfing. Definitely a longboard day today. Yeah. The waves have dropped quickly. Wow. Still looks really good for the beach. All right, so most of the waves here, this is Cherry Down. It's one of the public beaches. Cape Canaveral, most of the waves are all closing out with the uh, current conditions, so we're going to head south a few miles and see if we can't find some better surf that's uh, lining up a little, little bit better uh, and some better waves. All right, our boards are trying to fly away. You probably can't hear me, it's so windy. Let me get out of your way. Wind is crazy. We are now at Loria Wilson. It's a state park. I think it's a state park. Either way, Loria Wilson Beach. And uh, we're gonna check out. Here's our first view of the waves. Oh, wow. nice waves. Look at that peeler out there. That's what we're here for. All right, we just saw a longboarder catch a long peeler. Very nice. All right, so surfing wasn't half bad today, but it's dropping quick. The, the surf was about head high when we got there. It was about waist high two hours later, so it'll be flat before tonight's over. If anyone is ever in Cocoa Beach that sees this, hands down our favorite, favorite place to get pizza right here, New York Pizza House. And this, the slices are massive. Well, it was a nice little uh, surf adventure today. So obviously it's overcast, not the nicest weather, but hey, we just had a hurricane blow by like this morning, early this morning. So can't expect a whole lot of nice weather. Um, and overall, Cocoa Beach here, the beach side, and it's not that bad looking. There's uh, some palm fronds and leaves and branches missing out of trees, but no major damage though. For those of you new to the channel, we are a family that travels full time. We share our videos here in hopes that it will inspire and help your family travel as well. These few videos about preparing and living through Hurricane Dorian were just meant for people that are interested in what it's actually like versus what the newscasters might have you to believe. It's a lot less exciting. We have tons more information on our website down below at outsideiscalling.com and even better videos over here you might want to check out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.